So this is the head of the goddess Minerva. Discovered in 1727, she is one of the first signs that Bath was a little bit more special than any other Roman city. So this is the head of what would have been a huge cult statue. She's slightly larger than life size um, and would have also had a bronze gilded body to go with her head. On top of that, she would have had a big Greek Corinthian helmet. So it's the um, style of helmet that has the sort of no nose piece um, and space for the eyes and the mouth to breathe. There's holes in the top of her head um, where this helmet would have been riveted on, but this is all that remains today. Now, one of the reasons this is so special is because there are only two other fragments of gilded bronze figures like this one in the whole of Roman Britain that have been found so far. Who knows, perhaps there's another one out there somewhere. But this one um, is all that remains of Minerva here in Bath. In the Roman period, she would have stood in the middle of the temple itself, looking out across the temple precinct here towards the sacrificial altar, um, watching over everything that went on. But today, only her head remains, and she has been brutally hacked from her body. We don't know what happened to her body. Um, presumably, it was chopped up and melted down for both the bronze and maybe even the gilding. Um, but I like to think that whoever destroyed the body was a little bit too afraid to get rid of this head that had been worshipped for over 300 years in the centre of Bath. So she's looking a little worse for wear today, but remember that this is gilded bronze. So it's a bronze cast statue, and on top of that, there are no less than six layers of gilding. The first two, the base layers, are fire gilded, and the top are gold leaf uh, in four extra layers. Underneath her chin, you do have this damage from uh, where she was hacked from her body, but there's also a large panel that's actually missing. And we think that this is from a fault in the original casting that then would have had a plate placed over the top of it and then entirely gilded over. At the time, you wouldn't have been able to notice a thing. But remember, after 2000 years in the ground, corrosion sets in. And this, at some point, would have caused the plate to have popped out from under her chin. It's possible that the statue of Minerva was put in place in the temple when the building was first built in the later first century AD and stood there for those 300 years. But it was when the pagan temples were getting destroyed that this uh, site fell out of use. And we see that as well um, in the distribution of coins that were thrown into the spring. They start to drop off in the, in the late 300s AD. Now, at this stage, uh, the temple would have been torn down, been allowed to collapse, been allowed to fall in on itself. We see silting up happening in the main space. And that's when Minerva would have been pulled down, her temple destroyed. And this is because we see that change from pagan religion to Christianity. And here stands this icon, this glorious, imposing bronze statue of the goddess Minerva. Of course, she's gonna be one of the first things to go.